My name is Lissa Ayan. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm the current uh, co-president of Greenfire, and um, my major is environmental science with a focus in biology, and I have a minor in biology as well as music. Hi, I'm Matthew, a sophomore at Lawrence University. My pronouns are he, him, his. Hi, I'm Luke Shimabukuro. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm a bio major. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a chemistry and environmental studies major, and I'm the events coordinator for the Green Fire Club. Hi, my name is Erica. Uh, I'm a senior here. I was interested in attending the Wild Things Conference because I am somewhat environmentally illiterate, so I wanted to be more environmentally conscious and practical. I'm going to the Wild Things Conference to learn about urban sustainability and overall sustainable methods. I was really interested in going to the Wild Things Conference because I'm very interested in community organizing. Um, I know that conservation is something that is typically very driven by community organizing, and so I thought this would be a really good chance to meet some interesting people who have done work in this area and learn more from them. I'm interested in going to the Wild Things Conference because um, my education revolves around thinking on geologic time scales or thinking about things on like electron scales. Um, so given that this conference was based more so in conservation and thinking about uh, sustainability on uh, human scales, I thought it was it would be a really interesting um, way to get different perspectives on how we can think about saving our Earth. I was interested in going to this conference, mainly because I've always been interested in conservation, but I've never really had the chance to look at it on a scale that involved mainly like the Chicagoland area, including even further away, like where we are right now. So it was really nice to learn about all these different things that can affect us right here in Appleton. I was interested in the conference because I wanted to learn more about the current state of conservation and what new innovative methods and technologies are being used. I've always been interested in conservation since an early age. And um, now that I'm finishing up my Lawrence career, I'm hoping to get more involved in social justice issues pertaining to environmentalism and sustainability practices. So I thought this would be a great way to start being uh, introduced to the community and uh, the various interdisciplinary um, parts of it as well. Being at the conference made me realize that there weren't a lot of people that looked like me over there and I want to take the knowledge that I learned from there and apply it to my communities through Green Fire and other organizations that focus on the environment at the conference was that there are so many things going on in conservation. Some of them are more biology focused, some are more geology or mm, focused on social justice. There are lots of different uh, there are lots of different majors that someone might be. Uh, so while I was at the conference I attended this session um, which was basically like how to make science funny um, but more than anything is like making science approachable. Uh, and something that I strive to do here at Lawrence, um, but also for the rest of my life, is to making science accessible to the community um, and not making it this big scary thing where all we do is wear lab coats um, and mix scary chemicals together. So that's not, that is part of science, but it's so, so much more than that. Um, so what I'm taking away from this conference is that really at the stem of making our world um, more envi environmental fr environmentally friendly um, and really implementing sustainability in our world, we really need to start with educating the next generation. And um, I've been involved a lot with science outreach programs at Lawrence, um, and I would like to continue to implement how we can teach the next generation about sustainability, uh, and Lawrence is definitely a good starting place. So personally, I really like to grow things in a pot in my windowsill, outside, and going to this conference gave me an opportunity to go to this workshop I was super excited about called Native Seed Mix Design for Restoration for Prairies. And I really enjoyed it and reconnected with the passion I haven't been able to, especially during the winter term. So for this, I was able to think more about what I could be doing as a hobby for sustainability. As there's another talk about having a garden in this one person's backyard and her bit in helping for urban agriculture. Growing up in Colorado, I really had the privilege of being able to appreciate the natural environment around me and being able to visit the conserved sites that are all around that state. 
Um, but something that I've also sort of grappled with as I've come into my college years and learned more about social issues that are facing us in the current state of the world is how we can balance conservation issues that are typically heavily focused on plants and animals with needing to take care of humans that are in this environment as well. So something that I'll really take away from this conference and bring back with me to campus is thinking about how we really live in a balanced ecosystem where we need to maintain both the health of plants and animals in addition to human health so that we can all, as humans, really have a more productive and healthy environment to live in. So this will really inform my work continuing as an environmental studies major and with my work in the Green Fire Club. So while I learned a plethora of information from many disciplinary shared at the conference, I think something I took away um, that was really impactful to me personally um, was the current innovative ways individuals and groups are challenging climate change and are establishing sustainable practices in their own communities. Um, and that can be on a very small scale or a very large scale. Um, and what struck me most was certain projects uh, like um, close to, actually close to the city of Chicago, um, just outside of it in Rosemont, there were new um, restoration projects of uh, land that was used uh, with uh, large industrial practices before, and they were actually rehabilitating the state of the environment and um, this helped reintroduce um, wetland birds into the area and actually supported these huge migratory bird populations. So that gave me a lot of hope and a lot of, um, a lot of promise to the future if we all work together collaboratively, listen, and um, experience this together. If you want to learn more about sustainability practices on campus as well as current social justice issues pertaining to the environment, please visit the Green Fire Facebook page as well as um, our meetings which are on Wednesdays at 7.30 and we do have an open dinner at 6.30 beforehand. A big thanks to the Sustainability Committee and to the Student Sustainability Fund which made this trip possible. Thanks! Thanks.